Happy 2023 everyone! I am so excited to be filming this video. As the title suggests, I have journaled every single day for the past 365 days and in this video I will just be flipping through all 365 pages and if you are not interested in my commentary, I totally respect that. So I will leave a timestamp right here so that you can skip to it and not have to sit through all of my talking. I think this will be a rather long video, so I have a oat milk cappuccino and also a mug of water to assist me. So we start with January 1st and it seems like it wasn't a very good start of the year and it's funny because, you know, a year later I don't even remember why I was feeling down. I could read all of this, but I, I'm not going to do that. I guess it kind of just reminds me that a lot of the problems that I have are very much short term and a year later I don't even remember them. Um, I baked some brown butter chocolate chip cookies and I didn't do much work today. Here I was uh, brainstorming some bean card ideas. I did a lot of pen swatches in this journal. I was working on my six year anniversary and as you can see I was still actively working on it on January 6th but for this year I like it is currently um, December 31st, but I actually finished 90% of the seven year anniversary prep last week. So yeah, for 2023, I am very determined to get ahead. Um, I think I was having another bad mental health day. I do remember um, the first few weeks of 2022 was not so great for me. Um, a lot of anxiety. I watched The Matrix. And this was the first week of my last semester of my last year of undergrad. And it's honestly quite emotional to think about. Like, it's crazy how much happened within a single year. So here, I was still in university. Um, I went over to my sister's house and we baked some matcha cookies, but I still worked that night. Um, I baked some brownies on this day and then... This was a bittersweet day because this was the last time I met up with my friend before I left for uh, Toronto. And this was my last day in British Columbia and then I flew back to Toronto on the 15th. So yes, um, most of my schooling was online back then so um, that's why I, I still stayed in BC for the first week or so. But yeah, I flew back on the 15th. This was my flight. Um, this is my legal name by the way. I don't mind that you guys know that. My friend and I watched Matrix 2 and 3. That was kind of a trippy night. I was very tired and sleep deprived and I was also reading Atlas of the Heart by Brainy Brown. So I was writing down some notes. Um, I did give it a three stars. I can't remember why. Yeah, I just felt like it didn't give me much depth, but that was probably the intention of the book. So yeah, I, w I guess I was doing kind of like an icy blue theme these few days. And I was working on the functional sticker sheets. Lots of writing here. Uh, I'm guessing I was not having a very good day here either. Judging by the quotations that I was putting down. And then I started a rainbow week, which is one of my favorite things to do, where I assign a color of the rainbow to each um, day of the week. So pink, orange, yellow, green. Here I was brainstorming some bean card ideas and this is one of my favorite bean cards still. Then we have blue. Why was I really stressed on this day? Oh, it was because I had new releases on Saturday. Okay, so that's why that makes a lot of sense. Um, I remember it was just pure chaos handling new releases while, you know, obviously in my senior year of university. Um, it was incredibly tiring and I honestly don't even know how I did it. Here I got some new Tombow dual brush pen colors, so I, of course I had to use it right away. Oh, this is Lunar New Year, which I spent alone in Toronto. Here I was figuring out a linear programming problem. Um, I was brainstorming some color palettes, but why was I brainstorming color palettes? Oh, this is for my top 10 Tombow dual brush pen colors. It's triggering a bunch of memories. Um, this was one of the best books I, that I read in 2022, especially nonfiction, Empire of Pain. It was excellent. Um, here I was brainstorming ideas for a website revamp, so I was just drawing some frameworks. Very sleepy on this day. 
I went to this Italian restaurant called Taroni uh, in Toronto. We ordered a salad and a pizza with no cheese because I do not eat cheese. And it's not even just the fact that it's a, an animal product. Like I don't enjoy uh, vegan cheeses either. Just something about the smell of cheese really makes me sick. So yeah, anyways, Tiffany, she was really nice and we decided to get pizza with no cheese. Um, here I was reading Crime and Punishment, I think, and I was just trying to sort through all of the characters because I wasn't too familiar with the names. Um, here I think I was ranting about a group project <laughs> that I was having. And flowers are nice, very random. I had onion ring chips. Like random words are just like jumping out at me, so I'm just going to point those out. I have not slept. This was basically the motto of my entire schooling. I have not slept. Um, what else? I think I was doing some more website revamps. This was a really busy day. Um, I, oh, I guess this was like continuing the... I'm not going to flip to it, but um, I think this was continuing the previous framework that I was drawing. I guess it was like a long-term project. And also I remember like one of these days my heater broke and February in Toronto is extremely cold, at least for this year. Um, so I finally got the heating guy, I don't know what they're called, electricians, uh, to come and fix the heater, which was such a relief because I needed a portable heater. Um, oh, I guess this was my reading week. A little chocolate stain. As you can see, like I do a lot of random stuff. I, I don't take my planner too seriously. This was another busy day. I think I was taking some notes for an interview prep. Tiffany and I went to the Captain's Boil, which it was kind of funny because we didn't buy anything that was like the signatures. We got literally fries and Brussels sprouts at the Captain's Boil. Um, and then we went to Nani's Gelato and I had a vegan pistachio gelato. And then we went to Bake Code, which had the most insane um croissants and it was so good uh if you're wondering like tiffany she we met in first year of university and we basically kept in touch the entire four years and in the final year of university we're like every week we're gonna go out to some restaurant in toronto and eat food and that was one of my fondest memories so yeah this was just one of those days this was a little flower doodle. Um, once again, Tiffany and I, we went somewhere a few days ago or maybe a few weeks ago and we stopped by this gorgeous plant shop and they had beautiful flowers. So I just made a little doodle of that. Um, we had new releases and washi overstocks on this day. I don't remember any of this, but this is what um, a journal is for, I guess. And this... Okay, I guess this was the six year anniversary week. Here I was trying to figure out a problem for linear programming. Uh, and this was the six year anniversary washi. Again, very, very random. Um, here I was brainstorming some ideas on how I wanted to structure the uh, information page for the anniversary sale on the website. And I think I was studying for midterms or finals probably midterms. So I was like making a little checklist of things that I wanted to review for. Oh yeah, 490 midterm lecture, lecture, tutorial. I, I don't know how I managed anniversary, like the shop anniversary with new releases along with midterms. Um, that was kind of crazy. So yeah, this was my six year shop anniversary. I treated myself to a nice breakfast at Italy, which since moving back to Vancouver, I think one of the main things that I miss about living in Toronto was being so close to Italy. I was like a five minute walk away and it was dangerous for my wallet, but it was just the most delicious treat. And I really like this little doodle. And then this on this day, I had a very bad mental health day. As you can see, I kind of dissociated and that was that. Um, here, I, I don't know why I wrote coffee that way. And I was brainstorming some new release ideas. Here I drew some green flowers, not sure why. Um, and then Tiffany and I, again, we went out to eat and we went to this place called Hey Sushi. 
and it was so 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 good they had sushi tacos and it was my first time having them um, and then afterwards we stopped by a cafe and we had a Korean sweet potato cake which was so delicious um, and then I went to the bake code with my friend Helen her name is also Helen and I picked out more delicious croissants so that was nice sorry I need to drink some coffee okay so this was spring forward and once again i was doodling some ideas for the reading time sampler which is probably one of my favorite samplers and also the spring spring mugs this was okay so this was the actual anniversary sale week but it wasn't the actual anniversary um here i redeemed some starbucks rewards which i was really excited about i think i got a iced almond milk matcha judging by the doodle um oh this breaks my heart so much I said, I want to throw up, terrible day, just wanted to be over. I hate my brain so much sometimes. I want to sleep, so today's over, but I have so many things left to do. The only thing I'm looking forward to tomorrow is my long run. Oh, I still go through um, bad mental health days and weeks. I'm by no means better, but sometimes like looking back, I don't even remember what was going on during this day, but I, I can't imagine what triggered me to feel that way. Anyways, let's move on. Here I was doodling some banner ideas. Um, 175 cut files. Why is that? Why did I need to make 175 cut files? I'm so confused. But anyways, um, I guess I was still preparing. It's 3.30. And then yeah, this was the actual anniversary. So the day before, I pretty much just took a nap instead of sleeping. Uh, but the sale itself was super fun, and I used the Magic Forest Doodles to decorate, which was the theme of the anniversary. And then the next day, I literally looked like, I don't even know, a, a zombie, I guess. And this was a very accurate doodle of my outfit. And I did go to... No, I didn't go anywhere. I think I just made myself an avocado toast, and I said avocado toast bagels are awesome, which I still agree with. Um, here I was brainstorming some ideas for the classic Emojis mini collection, which, like, again, I just did a new release, one of the biggest new releases, two days ago. I can't believe I was brainstorming new ideas, which I guess I'm still doing that now, um, but I don't know. Looking back, it's kind of crazy, especially since I still had, like, school going on um yeah <laughs> an annoying thing was that i accidentally dropped a carton of eggs at the grocery store which is so embarrassing here i was really trying to get organized i think because i just had a lot of school things going on and i was taking some notes for game theory let's see upcoming goals continue spanish and french learning i'm still doing that now read through understanding analysis unfortunately i didn't finish that run and work out consistently and i've been doing good for three months this um i'm proud to say i think i've been consistent so yeah it's basically been about a year of consistently going to the gym except for a few injuries that i've had and also my wisdom teeth removal other than that like i've been pretty consistent looking to expanding TCMC office space. Unfortunately, we are still looking. I do have a very hopeful candidate that I visited last week though, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Carve out more time for painting. Boo. <laughs> I never ended up doing that. Uh, this was a Winnie the Pooh week. Uh, this is so whimsical. I really like this, and I think I want to do it again. Oh, actually, um, this is my theme or this was my theme for yesterday but anyways um <laughs> this was a funny joke i already told this when i did the flip through for march but basically i was telling my friend about the two-phase method for linear programming and they heard it as a two-faced method and i died of laughter so yeah and i recall in my flip through video i said that this looked like pee uh, it's actually meant to be honey though and again Tiffany and I, we went to this place called Baddies, and it was like a brunch spot in Toronto, and they unfortunately closed. So we went, I think, on the second to last day that they closed, uh, or before they, before they closed. And we decided to share a breakfast burger, but 
it had mozzarella cheese in it so she had most of it and then i had most of the chia pudding which was really good and then here my friend was giving me a puzzle about a cat and some boxes so i just doodled some cats and boxes um, this is April Fools, which I posted a fun video on YouTube, and it's kind of like a tradition on my channel. Unfortunately, I don't really have an idea for this year yet, but I will have to think of something creative. It's one of my favorite things to do. This is a little weekend reset. I was doodling some more bean card ideas. Had a presentation on this day. <laughs> and again, um, Tiffany and I, we went to Nani's Gelato. This place is so, so, so good, and they always have really good vegan flavors. So on this day, I had vegan cereal milk crunch. Like, how good does that sound? So good. It was a library day, and I was, I think, making some sort of bingo. This was the last day of classes, which was kind of sad. Um, I spent three hours at Robarts because um, even though classes were over, we had to study for finals. Um, I watched the Our Planet documentary, one of them, with my friend, so I was doodling some animals. That was really fun. I had, I had my linear programming final exam, and that was a very accurate doodle of how I felt afterwards. Uh, here, I, I think there was something wrong with my Tombow door brush pen, and that's what happened, so. And I think I wanted to make a video about some tips so those are some brainstorming notes and i think this was um yeah this was covering up a mistake that i made all i do is just cover mistakes uh here i was brainstorming an idea for the graduation mini kit slash achievements mini kit we have two versions i was running some errands and i was taking some notes on green premiums um this was a really fun doodle very spontaneous, but I, I love it. Uh, I went to Planta with Helen, and um, it, Planta is a all-vegan place. We had a really delicious dumpling, and also I had a pad thai slaw, and that was really good. I was studying for finals all day. Oh, I was feeling very burnt out, evidently. I had another final on the Monday, and then it started snowing on this day. Um, in the middle of April. Then I finished the book How to Avoid a Climate Disaster. I continued studying for exams and I had a lot of summer new releases that I wanted to get through. Um, and this was yet another final exam. Um, on this day, I went people watching at my local like grocery store, department store area, and I had a matcha latte. I really like these doodles. I, I wish I had more time to go people watching and just make little doodles. I haven't done that in a while. Um, I was making some swatches using the tissue paper and vellum. Once again, Tiffany and I, we went out for a little foodie trip to Cafe Landwehr and I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I had a shakshuka and it was a huge portion, but um, it was very, very good. Especially loved the bread, I remember. Then my friend and I watched um, the new Batman movie. I think it's just called Batman, and it was really fun. And these few days are rather empty. Not too sure why. <laughs> I had a mental breakdown earlier today, so maybe that's why. Ah, so I, I really wanted the Pelican or Pelican. Um, m 100 fountain pen i was just talking about it and eventually if you watched some of my earlier videos you would know that i did end up buying it as a graduation present for myself which was nice uh, here i set up my watercolor palette because i had more time to paint unfortunately i didn't end up painting very much but it was still fun to set it up and now we're on to may i started off with this really bright tulip uh, theme and I really love these colors and I did it because U of T planted some tulips and uh, my friend Helen and I and also Annie that was terrible grammar uh, we went to this place called OEB breakfast and I had their classic breakfast and also a black coffee and I really like this little tulip scenery this was May 4th so I made a little doodle some more tulips. I tried to be really creative with how I incorporated the tulips and also like the color scheme. 
uh, into this week. And I'm quite proud of these spreads, to be honest. And then this week, I started like an ocean uh, theme in my bubble. Apparently very hot on this day. Lots, lots of designing and this is some uh, ideas for a fountain pen emojis sheet. Holy moly. I can't, I, I don't even want to dive into what I wrote there. <laughs> okay. Um, then I was thinking of some ideas for the Hobonichi Cousin Deluxe page. We had not done the third page up until this point, so yeah. Anxiety sucks. Completely agree with that. These are some books that I wanted to, or I guess I was currently reading. Bad brain day continues. Yeah, I think I was having a very bad mental health week. Um, and I treated myself to a scone from, I think, Cobb's bread. Yeah, Cobb's bread. And I tried to draw the scone, but it ended up looking like a lump of fat. So, yeah. <laughs> then I discovered that I had a fountain pen store literally 10 minutes away. Like, I've lived in that apartment for two-ish two to three years at that point and I had not known that there was a fountain pen store and as soon as I found out I put on my coat and I just walked there and um yeah I got the Aurora Black fountain pen ink which is one of my favorite black inks some cute little emojis this was the new release and graduation sale and once again my friend and I watched another episode of Our Planets The Jungles and I made some doodles then my friend Helen and I, we went to Ding Tai Fung, had some dim sum noodles and the scallion pancakes were so, 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 so good. Oh, I miss that place so much. Then once again, Helen and I, we met up a few days later and we went to St. Lawrence Market. In the like four years that I was in Toronto, I had always wanted to go to St. Lawrence Market, but I just never had the time. And we finally went and it was, it, it was amazing. Um, and this was a little doodle of my outfit planning some pre-order stuff because the June annual pre-order was coming up. I recall not liking the carrot headers very much. Here I had a nail appointment and I finished the book First They Killed My Father about the uh, Cambodian genocide and it was a very impactful book for me. Ooh, cute little snails. Okay. Um, and then this was my... Was this? Yeah, this was my era of being obsessed with Stardew Valley. And oh my gosh, I completely erased Stardew Valley from my mind. I literally just remembered that Stardew Valley existed. So I think I'm going to start playing again tonight. And I think I said I would make Stardew Valley doodle stickers. So I'm going to do that as well. Anyways, um, yeah, so I was playing Stardew Valley a lot. Here I was doing some swatches of the new mile liners. And my friend Helen and I once again went for another food outing. We went to this Japanese restaurant called Boku and I had their saba miso which made me which reminded me of Japan so much and it was honestly a little bit emotional. Um, and then I was watching the Robert Oster Chicago ink which is beautiful. Here I was really stressed because I was getting closer to my move back to Vancouver and I was barely packed, so I made a little list of things that I had to do for each week. Um, this was when I had the genius idea of the build your house stickers, and I do think it's a really good idea, but um, yeah, I was just so, so dang excited, and I barely slept on this day because I was just working on this like a mad woman. So yeah, and then I posted about the idea the next day. And these were a bunch of requests from you guys um, with the different rooms. And I ended up doing most of them, I think. All right. Oh, okay. So I revealed the pre-order washi tapes on this day. That was fun. And I was watching my friend's graduation. Um, they streamed it on YouTube, so I was able to cheer them on. Then I had an Amazon package arrive. We watched Pink Panther. I, I'm guessing I had an iced coffee of some sort. I got some new shoes and again, I was playing Stardew Valley. Um, all right. Ooh, I, I remember filming a daily journaling vlog and I tried to challenge myself with the themes. So it was still rainbow week, but I wanted to do some new themes like flamingos and stuff like that. Um, anyways. 
I, I received the delivery of some pouches, which I was really excited about. Um, I was setting up my business planner and my friend Helen and I, I think this was our last meeting. I'm not too sure. We went to Lion City for dinner, then Lakeshore, then Helen's house. Um, and that was really fun. We saw some swans. And then this was the annual pre-order, which I don't know why, like this was really close to when I was leaving. So I don't know why I held one of the biggest events like a few days before, but that was a really fun day. Um, and then Helen gifted me a new dress on this day, which was really sweet of her. One of my favorite dresses. Ah, this was actually the last day that I saw Helen and it also happened to be the last day I was in Toronto. So yeah, I just wanted to meet up with her before I left. And we went to Mampuku, which was a, sorry, I think it's supposed to be Mampuku. Um, but yeah, anyways, it was like a full circle moment because when I first moved to Toronto for university, it was my dad who accompanied me. And the first place that we ate at was Mampuku. And I ended off Toronto with Mampuku and it was so good. Anyways, um, on the 21st, I just wrote down a bunch of flight info and then I met up with my friend. I think that's why I wrote a little outing and then this was back to business. Um, yeah, so I kind of rested on the first day back, understandably, because I flew in the evening. Um, and then on this day, I was just kind of recovering and unpacking. And then on this day, I went back to work. Um... I, I guess I was still studying topology on this day. Um, I really like this watermelon font. And I tried baking focaccia for the first time, which turned out okay. It wasn't the best, but I think I tried like four more times. And I still have not perfected the recipe, but um, I definitely want to try again very soon. Oh gosh, I just realized I have like 40 minutes of footage and we're just over halfway through. Okay, let's keep going. Um, it was very hot in Vancouver, so I kind of did a little summer theme. High of 31 on this day. Wow, that's insane. Um, on this day, I went on a little picnic with my friend. Okay, I'm just going to mention, like, when I mention my friend, typically I'm talking about my boyfriend. Uh, I, I don't know why I'm very weird about referring to him as my boyfriend. But yeah, we went on a little picnic, so that was really lovely. And then on this day, I revealed the Desert Stroll collection. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. So yeah, if you recall, like a few weeks back, I did the um, annual washi pre-order. And we also released a fundraiser vinyl. And in total, we raised $5,374.90 US dollars for Hope in a Box, which is an LGBTQ educational program. And I was really excited about that. Here I was brainstorming some more ideas for my setup and someone in the Facebook group was requesting for like side-by-side -side comparisons of the different um, galaxy washi tapes. So that was that. And then my sister came over, which was really fun. Always fun. I love her so much. And she stayed over. So the next morning we went to the Dutch for brunch. I had, what did I have? I had French toast? No, my sister had Nutella and strawberry French toast and I had an omelette, but I think her um, food was a little bit more photogenic, so that's how I drew that one. And here I was doodling some ideas for filming an Instagram reel and I got two new Tombow door brush pen colors. Um, here I was starting my watercolor phase, so I doodled some lilies, some tulips, and then my friend, aka boyfriend, we went on a little Vancouver outing, so we went to the Vancouver Art Gallery, Vancouver Pen Shop, which is such a blast. And then we went to Opus, Bread and Butter Cafe, and then Kita no Donburi, and that was so good. And then the next day, I had to do a lot of work because I barely worked on this day, but it was totally worth it. Um, here, my mom was like working on her garden in full swing, and just so many things were blooming, and I think we picked some radish on this day, so that was nice. Um, not too sure what's happening here, but that's okay. And we went on a little park stroll. That was very lovely. I baked some brownies on this day and went to the library. It was a very busy work day. And I think, um, new releases were coming up. So that's why I was working on new releases. 
this is a full-on design day and then here my fountain pen did some weird explosion on me so that was that <laughs> big business moves i bought a bunch of new equipment for making sticker books which is really nice and these have all come in handy and i've shown i think most of these in videos all right Aw, okay, so on this day I had my running injury and I basically couldn't run for the next few weeks and uh, that, that took a very big toll on my mental health to be honest. Like physically I was obviously in pain but mentally I was just so done. Running really really helped me just like clear my mind so the fact that I couldn't run but also like I could barely walk or move anywhere was just terrible. Um, so yeah, on this day I went to like a walk-in clinic and basically just waited around for a very long time. Here I was in pain and I was uh, designing for Halloween on this day. And then some new seal stickers came in and these are probably my favorite set of seal stickers that I've ever done. Um, here I was watching a talk about depression in the USA. And we picked some green beans in my mom's garden, which was super fun. And instead of today, I wrote Jode. Why? I don't know. Um, and then on this day, I doodled a little thing of our house, and I thought it was just a very sweet doodle. Anyways, on this day, I was filming something, and then um, I went on a little coffee date, and I guess I was still filming something. And then um, I used the Emoti Stationery Delivery stamp and ugh, as a rookie, I made the mistake of using archival ink and it completely bled through to the other side, but that's okay. Um, on this day, we watched Harry Potter and um, we, we were intending on doing a marathon, but we stopped at, I think, the fourth movie. Um, and I also picked up my first MacBook, which was so exciting, but um, I remember feeling very, very guilty because it's it's so expensive. Here I was watching the uh, June washing pre-orders because it delivered on this day. I was so excited. And here I was making a little checklist of all of the individual emoji head sheets that I had to do because there were 8 times 8, 64 files. And then times two, so 128 files that I had to do. That was kind of crazy. So yeah, I was just checking things off as I go. Um, we will be bringing this back because I know this was um, a really handy thing to do. And then my friend gave me a French press and um, some like coffee beans and stuff for my birthday, which was so lovely. Some more swatches of the washi tapes. Here I drew Totoro and we had pizza and chips because my friend Vihara came over. And then here I doodled stuff for Ponyo and we continued watching Harry Potter. Nothing too exciting here, I think. Um, oh yeah, this was my birthday. My birthday is August 6th. And um, so yeah, I, I ate dinner with um, two of my friends, so that was lovely. And on this day, I revealed the birthday washi. And the very next day after my birthday, I felt my depression coming back. That's nice. Here are some swatches of some new pens and inks that I got. And I went to Green Timbers. Here I went to the library to get a bunch of work done. And oh, I got the first issue of The New Yorker. Um, I had a trial that gave me like, I think eight issues or something for a very low cost. So yeah, I just went for the trial. And then I stayed over at my sister and her husband's house. I guess brother-in-law, and um, we went to Cactus Club Cafe, which was really, really good. I had the chilled noodle salad, and I made a little doodle of their house, and um, he's very tall and she's really short, so okay, she's not really short, but he's significantly taller, so that's why I made that funny little doodle. And then my sister and I went shopping, and we played Just Dance, and we golfed, so that was fun. Um, and then on this day, I was supposed to stay over for a bit longer, but then my dad, he, <laughs> I, I've told this story many times, but while he was moving a potted plant, one of the plant leaves poked him in the eye and he had to go to the emergency room. So yeah, my sister and I rushed home. And then I was very close to a breakdown because we had 
so many things going on and my dad was obviously out of work due to his eye injury so i was basically working i was basically working for two people and it was absolutely crazy hence this spread that makes zero sense um i think this was like all of the birthday sale new releases right this was like right before my birthday sale and um he had the injury happen obviously i don't blame him but um it was just really crazy for me and then my friend Vihara, she gifted me a game theory book, which I was so touched by because I love game theory. And then on August 20th, that was when we had the birthday sale. And as you can see, there were numerous issues and I was very, very overwhelmed on this day. I was doing a bunch of lettering for the first 175, 250, I don't remember, um, orders. So I also made one for myself. Here I was having a bad mental health day and here I said I needed a vacation. Um, my friend and I, we went to the movie theaters to watch 3,000 Years of Longing, which is an excellent movie. And then here I was preparing the graphics for the 2022 Advent announcement um, and you might, find the, you might find these familiar. I think I put down this weekend banner because I made an error and I was covering it up because that that's like really random um here i was doing some what was i doing oh some things that i have to design so labels and i had to build an inventory shelf and also work on the wonder pens collab and this was the wonder pens collab um, my new hobonichi cousin arrived which i was so excited about and i was making some more swatches this is definitely one of my favorite collections that i've done Okay, then in September, I started my more fall uh, themes, and so on this day, um, Wonder Pens launched our collab, which was super exciting, so I made a little doodle of their storefront, and I also just put down the cinema ticket here. Then my friend and I, we went to Hanako Sushi, which is super good, and here I was making kind of like a timeline of a bunch of videos that I wanted to post. Ooh, cute little fox. Okay. I wrote, I hope next week treats me well. Aw, I hope it did. <laughs> um, cozy day, and then we got a new printer. I called it Bob the Printer. And then I played Minecraft with my friend a lot on this day. Some late night thoughts, and Queen Elizabeth II passed away on this day. Feeling sick, so done for the day. I'm not sure why I was feeling sick. Anyways, um, on Saturday, I got a haircut, so that was a little doodle of myself, and I got some new clean color dot markers, and I packed 300 orders on this day, which is kind of crazy. Um, oh, I passed my driver's license exam, road test on this day. That was very exciting, and I also had bubble tea. It's just so crazy. Like, I don't even remember most of these things, so it's only like through flipping through these pages that I'm able to remember and I guess this is part of what daily journaling does for you. Um, on this day, Lisa, one of my longtime customers, flew from I think Chicago, no not Chicago, LA, yeah from LA to Vancouver for a work trip and we decided to meet up and we had Tsujiri and it was so fun to catch up. Um, on this day it was kind of sad because I had to say bye to my friend. Uh, he left for his PhD and these were some uh, cinema tickets also from this past summer. It wasn't like watched on this day. I was feeling very devastated and then on this day I decided like you know what I need to pull myself out of this negative spiral and um, do some self-care things. So um, yeah on this day we have the Avent I think announcement. Oh sorry my friend left on this day but um, this was the last day I said bye. Um, so yeah, anyways, I placed an order with Wonder Pens, which is always exciting. And then I did a little bit of uh, painting on this day, which was really fun. Here I went on a little solo picnic date and it was really nice because I stopped by 7-Eleven to pick up some fun things. And I basically just read a book and wrote. Here I was reading The Last Days of Socrates. I made a doodle of Socrates and I said I don't even know what that what he looks like. I wrote, I hope future me 
will be proud of current me. And I smudged this emoji, which I thought was kind of funny. And then on this day, I had my introductory therapy session, which was kind of, uh, uh, I guess, draining. That's the best way I could describe it because it was 80 straight minutes of just me talking about all of my problems and my entire life story. So there was that. And then this is a little note that was included in my order from Pix by Pix. And it was so sweet. So I just had to keep it in. Um, I had some Amazon orders come in or just one Amazon order. I was designing all day. I started playing the piano or I guess um, rediscovered playing the piano. Oh, these are the packing labels that we're currently using. And then this was kind of the start of my spooky season. Got my chapters indigo order, and these are some long-term goals that I had. Um, I think I was having a very bad, again, <laughs> a few mental health weeks. I feel like I'm just like always going through bad times, but... Uh, that's fine. So anyways, I went to the mall and I just bought some random stuff like hummus and leggings and stuff. Designed all night. I read Killers of the Flower Moon, which was another probably in my top five reads of 2022. 2022. I'm getting very tired of talking if you can't tell. I had a therapy session and then I placed an order with jet pens, which I was really excited about. Went to Cobb's Bread. This is a little tribute to Robbie. I had a lot of taxes on this day. More taxes. Taxes are so annoying and actually I need to do taxes for this past quarter. Ugh. Making a little doodle of how I wanted to lay out an Instagram photo. This was uh, the recipe for the rosemary pull apart bread and it was amazing. I highly recommend this recipe. And I was doodling the banner for the new Facebook group. I was doodling the new Facebook group banner. Oh my goodness, I cannot talk anymore. Um, Taylor Swift launched her uh, Midnight's album on this day, and then Karen and my brother-in-law came over. Here I was brainstorming some ideas for the Biomes collection, and then this was like a continuing design list. I watched the movie Smile with my friend at the theater, which was very scary. Uh, we started packing for Advents. Why was I sad on this day? Oh, that moment when you feel like you made a lot of progress with healing your mental health and one misstep sets you back. Woohoo, we'll keep going. I can't imagine what happened on this day. Um, we did new releases. And then I, I was starting to incorporate some lyrics from Midnight. And then we're on to November. This is a very busy day, evidently. Karen and David coming over. I'm probably going to die down my talking just a little bit because I'm getting very tired. Oh, right. This is my wisdom tooth, teeth removal. Um, so for the next few weeks, I uh, was kind of out of it. We watched Wrath of Man, and I went to the gelato, one of the gelato places nearby to treat myself. Because I could only have like cold and soupy foods. So there was that. I went to Save on Foods, and here I was working on these sticker books. And I was revealing the sticker books here. This was a really busy day, so instead of making to-do lists, I kind of made like a priority list. And then I got my fourth COVID shot on this day. I was too busy for a to-do list, but I ended up making a to-do list anyways. Um, I really like this little doodle. I think that's cute. Packed orders all night. And then I was just doodling um, some random stuff. And I baked apple cinnamon crumble cookies. Um, I got some new fountain pen inks. And these are some older ones, but I just wanted to make some swatches. And I really like this out of the woods kind of theme going on here. Here I was brainstorming some ideas for the new bean samplers. And then I watched Wakanda Forever with my friend. Busy few days. And then I watched the movie La Samurai. I think that's how you say it. With my friend once again. And I had some new fountain pen inks. 
Um, this is my mom's birthday, so I ordered her a chestnut cake and it was so delicious. Um, and it was just a really lovely day with family. Uh, this is Black Friday and I said to be extra mindful because I was feeling really down about myself on this day. Um, I baked some zucchini bread, one of my classics. And then my friend and I, we watched the movie Tar, which was excellent. Apparently I stayed up until 3 in the morning on this day. And here I was doing some planning for how I would be using the Hobonichi weeks. And this was a really busy day. I didn't end up doing any journaling until evening time. So instead of like writing down um, everything that I did, I just made a little uh, doodle of it. And I also started my sourdough starter. And now we are on to December. I need another sip of coffee. Okay, so this was day one of the advent reveals and it was like the morning routine washi. Um, and then on this day, I baked some more zucchini bread and I also incorporated some grated carrots in it and it was actually really good. This was advent day two. It was a magnetic bookmark with the sun on it. So that's why I drew that. And I made scallion pancakes from scratch on this day. It was my first time making it by myself. Um, typically, I would help my mom make it, but on this day, I used my own recipe and made it, and it was so good, and I was really proud. Um, this is Advent Day 3. I didn't keep up with marking in the Advents, unfortunately, but um, yeah. 2 a.m. thoughts. Emojis do not have ears. These spreads are kind of boring. I guess I was really busy and just not in the be best headspace. Um, on this day... Ooh, so my friend surprised me or I guess my boyfriend, um, he surprised me by telling me that he was actually flying back the next day and I was so excited and obviously very shocked. Um, here I doodled a bunch of penguins and then on this day I met up with my friend for sushi. I think this was part of the daily journaling vlog so I won't talk too much about it but um, my hands were wet so that is the reason behind these splotches. And then this was preparing for the digital pre-party and then this was the actual digital pre-party. The release went super well and then my friend and I, we went to Chipotle and we had chips and guac, which was really good. Um, on this day, I uploaded the regular stock stickers and I had apparently a very good idea. I honestly can't even remember what this idea was. Um, and then this was the day before the new release, was it? Oh no, this was the actual new release. Okay, so this was a shop reopening. And yeah, it was really crazy. So once again, I did kind of like a priority list rather than a to-do list. Um, my friend Helen gave me an Indigo gift card. So this was my order. So I made a little doodle. And then this was Christmas week. Christmas honestly completely caught me by surprise because I was so busy with the shop reopening and stuff. Um, and this was the, this was part of the Christmas vlog. So yeah, I was swatching a bunch of fun inks and the, some of the red sheen, I don't know if you can tell, it's like very shiny. Um, it kind of bled through, but that's okay. Here I was making some, uh, template ideas for the, this was for the free, um, washi and pen box that I uploaded in the Facebook group. Here I was announcing the subscription and also all of the themes, so that was really exciting. And I also made a list of priorities. And then my friend and I, we went to this restaurant called Milestones and it was really good. Then, um, what happened here? Oh right, my family and I, we went to my sister and my brother-in-law's place and we had a very lovely family time. And I made it. This was Christmas. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. Okay, so yeah, we went to her, their house because it was Christmas. And I made a doodle of our Christmas dinner, which was so good. So we had a stir-fried zucchini, uh, minestrone soup, seasoned rice, um, some baked and steamed fish, chicken karage, um, bok choy and mushrooms, and a Napoleon cake. And then the next day, I had once again a lot of work to do. This is typically the case where, like, if I have a day where I don't work as much, then the next day it is very crazy. And then here I was swatching the first January subscription washi tapes. I love them so much. And then I was doodling some ideas for the January freebie. And I also went to the optometrist on this day. I met up with my friend and... 
his friend and his girlfriend for a lovely, uh, was it lunch? Yeah, lunch out. So we went to a sushi place. Then right after we met up with a different friend and we went to uh, Mr. Tonkatsu. And then after that, we just had a very calm coffee date at like 8 p.m., which was nice. And then yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday was the last day that I saw my friend before they left. And then this is today, um, they left today. And I'm filming this on the 31st because I need to upload this on the 1st. So this is not fully filled out yet, but um, it's effectively done. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe I talked for like an hour straight or something. But this was basically my 2022. I am very, I don't know, shocked, I guess, or I guess in disbelief that I filled out all of these pages and that just so many things happen in the year. And at this moment, or I guess like before I flipped through all of the pages, I barely remembered anything. So I'm so glad I documented everything. I think, you know, just taking 15 minutes out of my day to write down all of the little things, um, the highs and the lows. I think it's one of the most valuable things that I've done in 2022 and I'm so excited to continue doing so in the following years. So yeah, anyways, thank you so much for sticking with me through this journey. I know it's sounding super dramatic, but I'm honestly very proud and I am wishing you a wonderful, wonderful 2023, 2023 ahead. I think for the rest of the day, I'm just not going to talk. <laughs> okay, bye everyone.